running on? That's the most important issue. What facing other the... issues are you running on? Well, I mean, now, if we don't take immediate measures, we have to spend like maybe 30 or 40 percent of the taxpayer's money to pay for interest for national debt. When? Now? ShireSociety.com So, although I guess technically I'm being discriminated against, I'm glad that the mainstream press is being allowed into the area, uh, you know, unlike that, that British reporter who, who was getting kicked out. At least there is some degree of uh, faulty transparency. It's better than no transparency at all. Of course, any Hillary event would probably allow pretty much the same thing. My God, are these two dressed up as as the Trumps? <laughs> uh, there is no parking up here at all. Mike Biundo here, a current or former, probably more like former political ally. It's one of the heartbreaking things of about the Trump thing is how many people who have pushed for liberty on various occasions have become entangled in this thing. Maybe they're right and I'm wrong. There's a lot I don't know yet. But I don't know why so many conservatives and liberty-leaning folk associate with, with Trump. I, this guy led the or helped lead the New Hampshire Advantage Coalition fight against taxes in Manchester. And I, I helped him put a tax cap on the city of Manchester. In fact, made the difference between it happening and, and not happening. Part of it is not so much heartbreaking as it is soothing, because there's this hope that if Trump gets in, the fact that so many Liberty people supported him will result in, I don't know, something good? I don't know what. So many is probably not the right word. Some Liberty people. So one hour past the opening of the doors and two hours before the scheduled speech, uh, i got to give more credit where credit is due. BP has got Technology Boulevard working pretty smoothly. Just an eighth of a mile from where Trump will be standing. One issue you're running on? That's the most important issue. What other the... issues are you running on? Well, I mean, now, if we don't take immediate measures, we have to spend like maybe 30 or 40 percent of the taxpayers' money to pay for interest for national debt. When? Now? Now? I mean, if we don't take measures, yeah, if we, we have don't to do now, that. Maybe 25 years from now that might be the case. But you're talking way off, not now. You're talking way off in the future that's a possibility. You know, that's interesting. I hadn't thought of that other parallel between Trump and Hitler, but the, uh, the, the, uh, the anti-handicap business, that didn't even cross my mind. And then, of course, there's the uh, the question of nationalism. I didn't bring up that similarity. Also, I guess on the more positive side is the you know I guess both Hitler and Trump seem to be fairly gun freedom oriented. Hitler, I think, liberalized gun freedom a little bit in Germany. Practically, practically the only good thing he did. It's funny, as soon as I stop, as soon as I start filming, yeah, right the debate between these two factions over here just ends. <laughs> some entertainment, make a provocative comment. Uh, I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> I'm recording. Has she, has she gotten a nickel from that in her pocket? Yes or no? Answer the How yes did or no question. Chelsea end up with a $7 million condo? Because her parents are wealthy. Oh, and they got that from how? Speeches, giving speeches. Right, are you familiar with Clinton Cash where they document after she was Secretary of State? No, you didn't answer my question. You're ducking the issue. You know, Excuse me, I got a are, a, are a cheap way for legalizing corruption. Did, did she get a Wow. If you haven't seen Clinton Cash, you really ought to because it documents real malfeasance while she was Secretary Are you of State. That Hillary while he was, you won't answer the question. Okay. They're criminal. It's legalized Third time. corruption. Third time. Has Hillary Clinton gotten a nickel from working for the Clinton?
The old world is collapsing, and it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, the Shire Society has a plan, a thriving web forum, and a history of action. It didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at ShireSociety.com.